This man and his team freed over 132,000 kids from slavery. He broke into sweatshops, fought against human traffickers, and risked his own life just to bring these kids to freedom. He even won a Nobel Peace Prize for it. This is not an action movie. This is the true story of Kailash Satyarthi. Hi, Nas Delhi. I am Kailash Satyarthi. Kailash grew up in India, and when he was just a kid, he saw a little boy his age working on the side of the road. Kailash was wondering, why is this kid working instead of going to school? I asked myself that why some children are born to work at the cost of their childhood. This is unacceptable. And the answer he got was too painful to imagine. You see, all around the world, millions of kids are being kidnapped or sold to slave owners. Yes, slavery still exists. The kids are forced to work in factories all day long, without pay and hardly any food or sleep. Just to make products like this one or this one, so their owners could later sell it for very little money. My teacher and parents always kept saying that these people are poor, so their children have to work. Knowing this changed Kailash's life forever. And when he got older, he decided to do something about it. Kailash formed a team of incredibly brave people, and together they worked on a plan to rescue the kids and bring them back home. Being careful, fearless, clever, and swift is the key in rescuing children. They strapped secret cameras to their chest and went on undercover missions to collect information. They stormed into factories, breaking locks and doors, searching in every corner. And what they found were little kids hiding in the shadows, scared for their lives. <laughs> Over the years, Kailash and his team went on thousands of dangerous missions. But the more successful they became, the more enemies they made on the way. Rescue missions are always life-threatening. But no danger is more life-threatening than slavery which my children face. Their office was burned down. Criminals bribed cops and politicians to protect their sweatshops. And groups of angry people came together to attack Kailash's team so they could take the children back to the factories. We have to, we have to look for the rest of the journalists and rest of the people. We are the mothers of the children. Kailash was badly hurt many times. His leg and backbone were broken. His skull was fractured. And there were even moments when he was held at gunpoint and his life was on the line. I was fighting against mafia, criminals, and most dangerous people. But he got back up every single time to fight again and again and again. I have one mission. Every child should be free to be a child. But we cannot end child labor unless we all demand it. Today, Kailash has over a thousand activists working day and night and fighting his fight. In India, Kailash and his team helped to free over 132,000 children from slavery and helped to close down thousands of factories. But he didn't stop there. He built a home for rescued kids so they can heal from their trauma. So Balashram is a laboratory of compassion, love, and hope. And more importantly, human dignity. We are not doing any kind of charity here. We love them as they are our own children. organized worldwide marches with millions of people 
defunded charities, went on hunger strikes, gave speeches just to create awareness for his fight against slavery. And he traveled across the world to enforce laws that protect children from being forced to work. My biggest driving force is compassion linked with the big dream that every child should be free to be a child. Every child is free to play and laugh and jump and go to school. And every child should lead through dreams and accomplish them. Kailash started by saving just a few, but ended up freeing millions all around the world. And 10 years ago, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Peace. Kailash is a true hero. He spent his entire life saving the lives of others. It is amazing how just one person can give so much light to a world full of darkness. How just one person can inspire millions of people to join his fight. His life is proof that all the evil in the world could never match the power of one good person. <laughs>